And 50 Cent said it in his album. He said, now I got me some money, I can hire me some help. And people didn't catch the hook. See, 50 Cent is one of the realest motherfuckers that ever played the game. Because you got to understand, the nigga was protecting the bag. Why have the little homie, why have Tony Yeo walk around with the rap or the strap? when you can have a police or a security guard that's licensed to carry it. So if this motherfucker kills somebody, he's a licensed killer. Yeah. So he don't fuck up the bag. Cause 50 Cent obviously must know the federal laws. And that's the problem a lot of people don't understand. When people say, Ken, man, every time you get in the car with me, you ask me, do I got a gun? Because it's a federal law called the trigger lock. You know, everybody should Google it. The trigger lock mean if I'm an ex-felon, I got more than two felons, I get caught with a pistol on me. Even though the state catch me, the feds can come pick up the case. Because with the feds, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you can't beat the case because it's called constructive possession. Constructive possession is when Shine got a license to carry a gun, he my home or I ride with him, and the police pull us over, and they decide to be assholes, and they take us down to the precinct, and they find out that I'm an ex-felon, and if they put that into the database, then the feds can see that, and they can come and they can arrest me. That's what you see what happened with Boosie. So Boosie, the state case, he could have beat because he could have argued that it was the security guard's gun or the other guy's gun. But with the feds, if you're an ex-felon, it don't make a difference. You don't even supposed to be a gun, around a gun, period. And that's why a lot of young brothers is getting caught up because they don't understand that when you are uh, ex-felon and you got a gun, you know what I'm saying, or you're around a gun, like, so I'll give you a better example of that. If you and your girlfriend, you know, y'all laying up and your girl got a strap and you don't know she got a strap, you know what I'm saying, and she, she uh, you know, she got the strap in, 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 the, uh, in the closet and the police come and do a domestic violence check, you know, y'all get into an argument. If they find a gun, you go into jail, even though it's her gun. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. So, but here's the issue with that. You know, Lil Wayne went to Rockers Island, right? For a gun. BG got 12 years for a gun, right? Uh, so, Jaru so, so, went, went to jail for a gun. gun. So, so we know that this is happening, right? But what happens is these guys is getting fifty thousand dollars a show, brother E. Fifty thousand. They getting fifty thousand a show, and guess what they doing? They going to their dress room and they strapping up. They going out to their vehicles and they strapped up. Guess what, man? If you get caught with that strap, your lawyer fee gonna be about fifty thousand. Your bill gonna be about a hundred thousand. All it costs you to hire a person with a strap or a security card would only been three hundred dollars. Wow, a hundred dollars an hour. Your concert might last three hours. You, you hire security guards. You tell them, "Hey man, just follow me around until I get back to my hotel." And then your homeboy, you know what I'm saying? They can walk up and down the room. And then when you drive, it's easy to just buy you another vehicle for about ten thousand dollars, a Yukon or something, and have your homeboys follow you in that Yukon with the strap. Because if you get caught up with that strap and you making millions of dollars, everything shut down. So we have to be wise and we have to be intelligent. And as young players, we got to understand, especially in this music industry, that you understand me, just because you made millions does not expunge your criminal record. You're still a criminal. You understand me? Don't let the money in the houses and the cars and all that shit fool you. You're still subjected to the law. And the law said ignorance is no excuse of the law. And that's what happens with a lot of people. And, you know, we could look at thug situation. You know what I'm saying? Thug, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, ain't got nothing to do with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what them dudes do in the street. This man traveling around the world getting hundreds of thousands of dollars a show. But they out there hustling. They out there game banging. They out there doing this and that and other. And under the RICO, because he's affiliated with them, they all got caught up, and now they're trying to point the finger at Thug. That's how the game go. You know what I'm saying? Once you get millions, you got to get out of that shit. I always say that your gift can take you where your character can't go. You can get out the ghetto, but you got to get the ghetto out of you. You know what I'm saying? You, mm-hmm. can't, you, can't, you, you can't have a talent of Michael Jackson status or 50 Cent status or, or you know, uh, Eminem or Kanye or Shine status, and then you make it out the hood, but you still have a hood mentality. Because your gift would take you where your character can't go. Once you get the millions, your character got to match your gift. Oh. Point yeah. blank. You wow. know what I'm saying? Wow. Yes,
This is your boy, Pimp the Kid, man. I want y'all to go get my new book, The 48 Laws of the Game, Pimpology, man. This is the book that everybody is reading. They love it in the prisons and selling all over the world. Everything that your father, your uncle didn't teach you, this book will. This will give you a whole lot of game. And it's for men and women. And if you want to be a winner, go get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. This is bestseller. Both of my books are bestsellers. And if you want to get the book, just go to thehiphopattorney.com. Go to the link, books, and hit the word, hit book. If that don't work for you, go to Amazon.com. If that don't work, go to Audible.com. Type in my name, Pippa Ken. I guarantee you that the book will pop up. And just order the book. We got the audio book. We got the hardcover. We got the paperback. Anything you need, just go to any one of those platforms. Barnes & Noble's Books A Million and get the book.